We count on your blessing, Heavenly Your Eminence and distinguished guests, the Al Smith Dinner provides a rare opportunity to set aside partisanship. Cool. Oh, sorry, sorry. Hey, what's going on? I'm giving a speech. Do you have some thoughts about what I might say tonight? My feelings about what you should say tonight would be best expressed in a monologue from one of my favorite made-for-TV series. Okay, let's hear it. Don't you see, man? We need a woman to represent us. A woman brings more heart, more compassion. And think how smart she must be to become a top contender in a field dominated by men. It's time for a woman, bro. And with this woman, we can fly. What series was that from? Oh, that's from House of Dragons, now streaming on HBO Max. Is there anything that you think that maybe I shouldn't bring up tonight? Um, well, don't lie. Thou shall not bear false witness to thy neighbor. Indeed, especially thy neighbor's election results. Just so you know, there will be a fact checker there tonight. Oh, that's great. Who? Jesus. And maybe don't say anything negative about Catholics. I would never do that, no matter where I was. That would be like criticizing Detroit in Detroit. Does it bother you that that Trump guy insults you all the time? Because it really bothers my friends and me. Oh, Mary Catherine, it's very important to always remember you should never let anyone tell you who you are. You tell them who you are. Haters gonna hate, hate, hate. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. <laughs> Good for you, Mary They're Catherine. ready. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. And okay. also remember one more thing. Don't worry if you make a mistake, because Catholic people are very forgiving. Yeah, and also, one last thing I want to tell you, don't forget to say, superstar! <laughs> Thank you, Mary Catherine. Thank you, Mamala. Thank you. Let us recommit to reaching across divides to seek understanding and common ground. Always it's a rule, you gotta go to the dinner. You gotta do it, otherwise uh, bad things are gonna happen to you from up there. I was... <laughs> you can't do what I just saw on that screen, but uh, my opponent feels like she does not have to be here, which is deeply disrespectful to the event and in particular to our great Catholic community, very disrespectful. The two candidates for president are supposed to exchange good-natured barbs, and you know we get along very well. I didn't like Biden very much, and now I like him quite a bit, you know. It's <laughs> and now I say that she's much worse than him. He was a much better candidate than her, actually. And when we hopefully win, dispose of her, I like her a lot, but right now I can't stand her. It's I can't stand her. If Democrats really wanted to have someone not be with us this evening, they would have just sent Joe Biden. And Mayor Adams, good luck with everything. They went after you. They went after you, Mayor. Yeah, oh boy, I do that. But look on the bright side, Chuck, considering how woke your party has become, if Kamala loses, you still have a chance to become the first woman president. <laughs> and I actually said, do you mind if I do that? And he said, no, you got to do what you got to do. He's a pro. He's a professional. The only piece of advice I would have for her in the event that she wins would be not to let her husband, Doug, anywhere near the nannies. Just keep him away. That's a nasty one. That's nasty. If I have the honor, I look forward to working together to make this city greater than ever before. We're going to do that. We're going to be, we're going to be focused on our work with the governor. I'll work with the mayor, Democrats. I will work with them. I work with whoever I have to. And we President Biden couldn't be here tonight. The DNC made sure of that. Uh. Oh. Today, my wife, Jeannie, and I are celebrating our 21st wedding anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. We're not. That's a lie. But being on a dais filled with politicians, journalists, and business people, I felt obligated to tell a lie. You know? I didn't want them to feel out of place. 22% of Americans identify as Catholic. Catholics will be a key demographic in every battleground state. 
I'm sorry, why is Vice President uh, Harris not here? $10 million is, is pretty impressive, you know what I mean? I mean, granted, it could get you a studio apartment in Manhattan, <laughs> which seems, you know, expensive, especially considering you can get a mayor for two business class flights. <laughs> oh, is, is, oh, is, did I break a, I didn't think we had borders anymore. <laughs> which reminds me, Letitia James is here. She had a great year. She's just back there watching all of you. <laughs> She's watching. I'd like to also welcome Mayor Adams, brought to you by Turkish Airlines. Uh, President and Chief Executive Officer Consolidated Edison Inc. Ken Langone, co-founder of the Home Depot. Robert K. Kraft, founder, chairman, and CEO of the Kraft Group and the Foundation to Combat All Hate. Bloomberg Philanthropies and the 108th Mayor of the City of New York. Ursula M. Burns, chairwoman of Tenio Holdings, LLC, and founding partner of Instagram Holdings. John J. Studinsky, managing director and vice chairman, PIMCO. Stephanie Rule, 